Hello and welcome to a crap from the 80s. Uh, it is the day after Christmas and um, I am here for another, the annual Christmas haul video. Um, I know a lot of you folks enjoy these videos and uh, this is the 2023 one. Um, I hope all you guys had a great Christmas. Uh, holiday, whatever you, whatever you celebrate, I hope it was magical and mystical and joyous and you had friends and family and uh, pets and whatever else, Tropopkins, anything else to help you have fun and be in the Christmas spirit. Um, it was an odd one. It's an odd one this year. Uh, the, the the, the Christmas feels were a little lackluster for a whole bunch of us this year, um, including my wife and and me and uh, uh, several other people that I know who usually are Christmas crazy. Um, and I'm not sure what it was. Uh, you know, I don't know if it was the weather, uh, the, you know, seasonal depression. I'm not sure. Normally... I enjoy a white Christmas. That is my favorite. <laughs> That's when I really want snow, is during Christmas. And we have nothing in upstate New York. Nothing. Um, it's nice and brown and green and 50 degrees. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, we tried. Uh, we had a really fun Christmas party. We always have a, an annual Christmas get together with, with the the extended family, all the friends, and it was a pretty big one this year. Uh, lots of folks showed up, and it was nice, and and we had some good laughs and watched some stuff, and that was fun. Um, definitely yesterday morning, I definitely was like more. You know, we always do a big breakfast in the morning, and we crank the Christmas music. And uh, that was festive, and it was fun. It was great to see, you know. Um, I, I love seeing my wife and kids' faces when they open presents, so that's always a joy for me. Um, and they were joyful. And you know, my cousin Casey and uh, his wife Nisha and their little their little girl Kira, they always come over. Um, and we exchanged presents and they eat dinner with us. And that was fun. That was good. Um, Kira, we, we got a whole bunch of stuff for Kira, which was awesome. And it was great to see her explode at some of the stuff <laughs> she got. Uh, so yeah, you know, 50-50. But you're not here for that. You're here to see what goodies Santa Sevage got for Krima. I'm going to show you. Hmm? Let's see what's up. Okay. Um, let's see. First of all, here, I'll do, um, I'll do gifts from other folk outside of my wife. Uh, so let's see. Where, ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm moving you. And it's a moving experience. Let's see. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, first of all, I always do this in my kitchen. Uh, <laughs> nice Christmassy ambiance. First of all, um, my buddy Andrew, he gifted me the 4K of Child's Play 2. Nice and moist. And Aesthetic Deviations, a critical view of American shot on video horror, 1984 to 1994, which uh, I cannot wait to get into this. You guys know I'm a filmmaker and I've been making movies since the 80s and uh, SOV is the bread and butter 
and I grew up watching a lot of this stuff and then making this stuff. Um, so um, I can't wait to dip into it. So that was from Andrew. And then Chad, uh, Horror Movie Barbecue, Chad and I did, did a trade. Um, he hooked me up with the 4K of Silver Bullet. And I hooked him up with a uh, Saturday Morning Sleepover Christmas Edition, Volume 4 or 5. Volume 5, I believe. So thank you, Chad. I look forward to 4K Gary Busey. Um, my, uh, oh, Andrew also gifted me this lovely one-track lover from Todd Rivers cassette. Uh, Matt Berry as Todd Rivers from Garth Marenghi's Dark Place and his song One Track Lover. Got that. Um, uh, my cousin Lauren on Katie's side, she gifted me the first season of The Sandman in 4K, which was phenomenal. Uh, so I'm glad to be owning that. And the 4K of Weird, the Al Yankovic story, which is a hilarious movie. If you haven't seen it, please, please do. Uh, as far as slip cases go, I'll be throwing this away. Because fudge slip cases. Bah. Wastes. Um, so yeah, I look forward to that. And it's like stacked with special features. So, um, got that going for me. Uh, and I th think everything else is from my wife. I believe so. I believe so. All right, so she gifted me the gift that keeps on giving, the very best of Hall & Oates on CD. Um, I have a, I currently have a Creature from the Black Lagoon wallet that has seen better days. It's, it's in rough shape. So she has gifted me a fine Corinthian faux leather <laughs> of a Ghostbusters wallet. Very nicely put together. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I will be happily exchanging that, um... She also got me this sweet Gutter Garbs Nightmare 4 shirt, which is reminiscent of the sticker packs from back in the day. Everybody knows that Nightmare 4 is my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street film, and I have a few Nightmare 4 shirts, and she has added another one. She also got me the the new Creep Show comic book. Um, this is an image comic, and it's uh, the collected works of the. Uh, I think it was what was it? How many volumes was the first? Uh, oh, one through five. It collects one through five issues. One through five. I don't like the new show on Shudder, but I'll always take some more tales of the macabre in the creep show vein and EC and all that stuff. So I am looking forward to dipping my bulls into this. Uh, she also got me the prequel comic to the Revelation uh, cartoon on Netflix, Masters of the Universe, the prequel graphic novel collected works and I will dip into that. Revolutions, the the uh, sequel series is coming to Netflix at the end of January and I'm pretty excited about that because uh, it's going to dip into the Horde mm, and Hordak. They are my favorite Motu villains. <laughs> so got that. Um, ooh, she also got me this. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is the making of Conan, the barbarian. John Miller said, the tire is best in life, to crush your enemies. Look at this, it's so great, fantastic. Yeah, I can't wait. 
Speaking of Conan, it's coming to 4K, finally, in January. And I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Now that is a, that is a, yeah, that's pre-ordered. Yeah. But yeah, I cannot wait. That is. Kram. That you can trust, that's for sure. Um, uh, oh, she got, oh, this is really cool. This is really, I was like, oh, when I saw this, this is very sweet. Um, and I'm going to enjoy putting this together. This is really cool. This is a faux Lego Johnny Five from Short Circuit, which is awesome. Uh, and I will be happily and joyfully putting this together. Um, I thought that was so cool. Um, oh, she got me this, uh, the Weta Workshop Mini Epics. Uh, they do a whole line of different figures in a really cool caricature style, uh, statues. Um, and, um, you know, I love the Dark Crystal. I've got uh, quite a few little, uh, uh, a nice little collection of Dark Crystal stuff over in the sci-fi room. And she gifted me the Kira from the Weta. Got to get Jen right there. She's holding Fizz gig, but I thought that was awesome. It will go nice with my Dark Crystal collection. Um, oh, she mistakenly got me doubles of this. Uh, this is the Super 7 from the uh, Thundercats line, the Berserkers, Captain Hammerhand. Look here. And I, of course, have the original Berserkers as well, um, but I am... Uh, she is helping me <laughs> collect these Super 7 Thundercats. Um, so I do have a, uh, a double that she got, and it's still in its, its uh, Super 7 box as well over here. Uh, so if there's any Super 7 Thundercats collectors out there, who watch my show and want me to want to buy this or maybe trade for a different Super 7 figure from the Thundercats line. Um, if you want to buy it, I'll do it like $10 cheaper than what it is online. Uh, but you can get a hold of me uh, if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll probably take this to one of the local toy shops and see if they'll do a trade with me uh, for that. Um, ooh, and then Katie also got me from the Motu Origins line, Point Dread and Talon Fighter. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love the Origins line. Such a great line, and I will continue to collect them. Uh, now they're doing the Filmation origin style Motu cartoon versions, which is sweet. Um, take, a, take a quick uh, detour from what Katie got me, but Casey gifted me the new Origins Snake Mountain. Which will of course go beautifully with my Origins Castle Grayskull, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, she also got me, um, now I have been collecting these both uh, for loose and to leave on card. And um, these are the 
wonderful Kenner slash Hasbro retro line of the um, Star Wars figures. I have a lot of the originals, uh, which I've been collecting, um, but as you collectors know, there's no way you're going to be able to spring for actual carded figures unless you're dropping, you know, anywhere from 60 to $1,000 for them. I'm not doing that. This is good enough for me. While I have several Gamorrean guards, uh, you know, loose from the original line, um, it's awesome to have the repros. And so this one I will hang up. I'll just put up on the wall with the other Star Wars stuff. Uh, but this line also came with Yak Face. And I already have uh, an original Wicket, but so he's going to stay in card, on card. I already have uh, an original Akbar, so he's going to stay on card. I, I, the one thing that I really do hate with these, with their Kenner Retro line, is the fake um, distressing on the card and these ugly ass retro stickers that if you try to peel off, it rips the cardboard. Um, and I, you know, I think they could do with just putting the, you know, this was obviously 40 years of Return of the Jedi. Um, but other than that, it's cool that it's on card, so I'll keep that on card. Um, I probably will open this red royal guard to go with my other royal guards um, next to the next to Palpatine, the original Palpatine. Um, and then we get a Kenner version, a Kenner style retro 1983 Return of the Jedi version of Mon Mothma. Um, so that is awesome. They're really, they're really cool. And I enjoy when, uh, when the toy companies do this, um, like Kenner Hasbro and, and, uh, Mattel and all that stuff. They did, uh, you know, they're doing it with, um, the real Ghostbusters as well, Kenner Hasbro. And I loved that I could get some carded Ghostbusters again and not have to pay $500 for them. It, regardless of having the originals, uh, I already had the originals, but it was nice to have the carded, um, even if they are a little bit changed here and there. They're doing it with the Fright Features as well, coming up, the Ghostbusters Fright Features. The first line, first wave of the Fright Features. Um, and I'll probably be picking those up too. Um, and she, ooh, these are awesome. So she got me the, she got me the Trick or Treat Studios, um, Goosebumps Haunted Mask and Haunted Mask 2, uh, which are great pieces and I will be adding them to the collection down in the theater room, horror room. Um, just awesome. Great episodes of classic Goosebumps. And, uh, yeah. And now, let's go into this barrage of physical media. Hmm? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so um, she did tell me that she got me the um, the Severin release of Cemetery Man, Della Morte Della More, uh, on 4K. Uh, it was a pre-order, uh, but I guess it finally is about to ship. Uh, so she told me that uh, that's coming as well, which is awesome. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. Um, but, and some of these titles, you'll probably be like, I'm surprised you already didn't have these. Uh, but to be honest, um, like you guys know, I don't buy myself a lot of things during the year. 
Um, one, I don't make a lot of money. And two, if I am buying stuff, I'm buying it for other people, uh, for River, my wife, friends, whatever. Very rare will I pick something up for myself. It just depends. Um, so what I do is I just throw everything that I want onto a Amazon wish list. I have two Amazon wish lists. So I just throw the stuff on there. Um, and I know it's not going anywhere, you know? Eventually I'll get them. I'll get the things that, you know, so um, that's how I get them. And so that's what this list is. Um, the 4K of Reservoir Dogs. And the 4K of Spider-Man No Way Home. Which is awesome. The 4K of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is my favorite Spider-Man movie, hands down. Uh, but these animated ones are close. And this slip cover is going in the garbage. So I got that. Uh, the noise in the background, uh, River is doing laundry. And so the washer is going ape right now. Sorry about that. Um, Blu-ray of Renfield. Fantastic film, as far as I'm concerned. It's okay if you didn't like it. I did. Uh, the 4K of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Not as good as Bumblebee, but better than the last three or four <laughs> Bay films. Um, and I like Michael Bay, but I'm glad he got away from, at least in the director's chair. I know he was still produced this, and it was a little more Bay-ish, but it was a nice balance of Bumblebee Transformers and Michael Bay Transformers. But, good flick. Garbage. Uh, ooh, this is nice. And this slipcover, if somebody wants to buy this slipcover from me, sure. But other than that, I'm probably going to toss it. Because I just, I just don't care, guys. Um, but Redneck Zombies, Pericles Loonies, his, um, his epic shot on video horror. Uh, one of the films growing up that inspired me to keep going and making shot on video horror. Um, yes, this is from Bottom of the Barrel, Vinegar Syndrome. So we got that. Yeah, I'll be, uh, you know. No thanks, I don't need that. Um, the uh, uh, fantastic series. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry. This is really loud, guys. Uh, he must have filled that washer to the brim with his filth. Uh, this is season one and two of The Boys, which is on Amazon Prime. Uh, all three seasons are fantastic. And then Gen V, which recently came out, is also fantastic. Great, great deconstruction superhero show based on the graphic novels. Uh, but here, check it out, please. It's, it's really good. Very violent, very ridiculous, very gross, over-the-top, silly, fun stuff. Um... Ooh, this is, a, uh, this is a gem, and I will be getting rid of the slip cover as well. But this is the Kino Secret Admirer. This is a very underrated 80s teen sex comedy, if you will. Um, and I think it's awesome. And Corey Haim is, is C. Thomas Howell's little brother. Uh, man, we got... Oh, oh, we got... Aunt Becky in here, Lori Laughlin. We got the beautiful Kelly Preston. Crom rest her soul. Uh, but this is a very fun movie. And uh, this is a 2K scan from the 35 millimeter inner positive. It's got an audio commentary. Great. Great movie, guys. You 80s nuts. Um... 
This is the limited release of WandaVision 4K. The only way they release it was in these dumbass steel books. So, which again, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't need my Blu-ray or 4K entrapped in steel. <laughs> Uh, and I don't care about the art. I mean, if I want awesome art, I'll have a poster of it. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad I got a physical media release from Disney. Um, and 4K no less, and it's got special features as well. WandaVision, probably still my favorite Marvel show. Um, Hawkeye is a close, close second. And then the Loki seasons. Um, in that vein, we got the uh, first season of The Mandalorian 4K in this ridiculous steelbook um, with special features as well, limited. So I got to get myself that second season. Um, ooh, speaking of second seasons, uh, one of my favorite shows of the last few years, this is season two of the wonderful wonderfully weird, macabre, silly, creepy, uh, spectacularly acted Yellow Jackets. This is a wonderful show, guys, and if you're sleeping on it, stop sleeping on it. If you only gave it like a couple episodes, keep going, because it's great. But again, opinions, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ooh, this was a must-have. I was so happy that these were in... Uh, these were uh, gifted to me from my lady. Um, finally, a good representation of the film Young Guns. This is the 4K version of Young Guns. Uh, the previous Blu-rays have been repugnant. So I have seen what this looks like. This is going. Um, and it looks wonderful, the comparison between Blu-ray and 4K, night and day. Uh, so I'm so happy to have Young Guns in 4K. It is a spectacular film. And I love Young Guns 2. I'm hoping Young Guns 2 gets the treatment as well. They're owned by different companies, but I'm hoping, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, also a must-have, had to have it, one of my favorite films ever, is the 4K version of The Monster Squad. Uh, I am going to get rid of this slipcover, because I don't need it. Um, this has pretty much everything that the Blu-ray has. Uh, the addition is that it has Wolfman's Got Nards, which is the 2018 documentary that was made, uh, co-directed co by... Andre Gower, who plays Sean in The Monster Squad. Um, but I already have Wolfman's Got Nards, so maybe I'll give Wolfman's Got Nards to somebody, since it's on here as well. Uh, but yeah, I have also seen what 4K a Monster Squad looks like, and it looks beautiful. So I cannot wait to play all these 4Ks uh, on our 128-inch 4K projector downstairs. We also just got an 86 inch LG 4K up here. Uh, so they'll look, it'll look spectacular. Um, one of my favorite films of the summer is The Flash on 4K. Um, this movie is so much fun. Fuck Ezra Miller, it doesn't matter. Uh, this, there's, 80% of the CG in this film is repugnant, uh, but there's some that's fantastic. But overall, it's a super fun movie, and the return of Michael Keaton as Batman is... I mean, that's the... Mm, that's, I mean, that's the reason for the season, folks. And the Danny Elfman score, and you're seeing 89 Batman do things that you've never seen 89 Batman do and it's wonderful, and it's just a really fun movie, and uh, I'm happy to have it on 4K. This I have wanted on Blu-ray forever. I can finally 
throw away the wretched and dreck-filled DVD of Ernest Dickerson's Surviving the Game. I love this movie. Great performances by everyone in this, but a particularly awesome performance from a Mr. Gary Busey, Juicy Busey himself. Um, but look at this. this. This is a new 4K scan, and it's got a brand new commentary by director Ernest Dickerson. So I cannot wait to finally see Surviving the Game in HD, and I can toss that wretched DVD. Great film, guys. Really great film from the mid-90s. Um, ooh, this was a gem. This was a movie that I skipped in the theater, but I ended up watching when it hit uh, streaming uh, and then said, ooh, I have to own this because I will watch this many times over. Uh, so I have the 4K of Bullet Train. Super fun, over-the-top, silly action movie. Great performances. I'm going to rock that. This movie came out last year. It is uh, an instant classic as far as I'm concerned. We watched it again this year during the holiday party, but it's going to be in my rotation. Um, this is the 4K of Violent Night. Um, Tommy Wercola made this film. He is the guy behind Dead Snow. More importantly to me, he's the guy behind uh, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, which I love, unabashedly love, and I don't care if you don't agree. <laughs> Isn't that great? Violent Night is wonderful. Got it here in 4K. Uh, really, really fun, violent, silly, heartfelt Christmas movie. And it's going in the rotation every year now. Um... Ooh, these are some classics, guys. Some classics. Uh, I've always loved this movie. It's, it's very odd that I do, but since I was little, this would play over and over and over again on HBO, and I'd watch it all the time. I love Michael Keaton. Mr. Mom in beautiful Blu-ray. Um, it's even got some special features, but this is a uh, Shout Factory Blu-ray. Really fun movie. Really fun. Um, written by John Hughes. Just, just fun. Uh, another movie, this is a 90s movie, but I have always loved it. And for some reason, I've never owned it on physical media. And now I do. Thanks to my lovely wife. Bowfinger. Really funny movie. Really great performances. Frank Oz directed such a good movie. Really good. Um, now we dip into some nostalgia. Mr. Belvedere, season four. The complete season four. Add it to my Mr. Belvedere's. Challenge of the GoBots. You had your Transformers, you had your GoBots. Some people couldn't interact with both of them, but I certainly could, and I did. And I had a great time with it. And this was a great cartoon, no matter what anybody says. And I'm a Hanna-Barbarian. I love it. The GoBots, the GoBots. Anyone have a GoBots command center that they don't want anymore? Send it to old Seavage, because uh, that is a, one of my grails. It's very easy to get, um, but I had that growing up, and I loved it. And I used it for everything. I used it for Star Wars. I used it for He-Man. I used it for Transformers. I used it for GoBots. The GoBots command center. Pretty dope little command center. Um, and then the last of the batch, and it, it completes... My entire series collection of Growing Pains. Season six and seven. Now it's all complete. I have them all. One of my favorite sitcoms of all time. Growing Pains. One of my, one of my mini 80s dads. 
will pass. The thick of it, the thick of, in the thick of the night. There we go. So that's it, guys. <laughs> that is my haul for 2023. Thank you to all the folks that gifted me presents this year. And of course, thank you to my lovely and beautiful and amazing and powerful and sexy and magical wife, Caitlin. <sighs> Until next year, right? As the, the Christmas feels fade and January hits and then we get hit with the snow up here in upstate New York. <laughs> And then we'll have snow until April. But um, anyway, let's see your hauls, guys. Let's see, what, what did you guys get? Uh, anything retro, anything modern retro, um, stuff that you wanted for years, stuff that filled in your collection, anything. What did you get? I would love to hear it. And if you have videos, I would love to see them. I love that stuff. And, um, and, and that, yeah, that's it, guys. We will, we will see you on another episode of A Crep from the 80s. We hope you have a great, great holiday. New Year's coming up. Hope you have a kick-ass new year. There will be some uh, videos coming up to, to launch us into the new year. Um, and uh, some exciting things, uh, which we'll be talking about as well. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, give us the likes, comment, please talk to us. Uh, but the likes really help the algorithms, people checking out the, the site and seeing what it's all about. Uh, there's a lot here at, uh, from Crepe in the 80s for you to enjoy, so... Thanks for everybody uh, tuning in, and we'll see you on another episode. Goodbye.